Victoria meets LaToya and Damien and their nine-month-old puppy, Mr. Black. I just saw him and thought he was just the cutest thing. But as he's grown, so is the couple's problems. Um, and where did you get him from? Um, LaToya was surfing the internet, um, and she found him online somewhere, I'm not sure. Yeah, he was just the cutest thing, and I was like, oh, I have to have him. <laughs> Look at you, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with you. Don't be fooled. Yeah. Yeah, taking care of Mr. Black can be kind of difficult just because we both work full time. How long are you guys away at work? I'm usually gone for about nine hours. Oy. So has he been by himself since he was a young pup? Yes. Nine hours a day. Oh. OK. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave him his name? Mr. Black is a character in my favorite TV show. Damien insisted the dog had to be named Mr. Black. But of all Mr. Black's bad habits, the most upsetting is his destructive chewing. Anything he can get to, he'll get to. It's pretty much gone. OK. Yeah. You know, he's torn up our clothes. He's cords. Cords. After Mr. Black left their last apartment in ruins, Latoya and Damien are terrified that the same thing will happen again. Yeah, the destruction is is big time. He did have a puppy alone for a large part of the day in the apartment when he's teething. So of course he's gonna chew. I just thought we were doing it right, you know? I know. We were trying our best, you know? Latoya was upset because she felt like she was a bad puppy parent. Now, in one respect, yes, they were. They don't understand what that puppy needed, and the puppy's on its own for 9 to 11 hours. That's absurd. Now she wants to sit down for a serious discussion. He's a fantastic dog. He really is, and yes. I think he's going to be great to work with. But there are obviously a lot of things that need to change. He's a real destructive chewer. Now, Mr. Black has caused approximately $2,000 worth of damage in your old apartment. Now you've moved into this lovely new apartment, you're worried that he's gonna do the same thing here. And yeah, you better be worried. If you don't change your ways with him, he's going to do it. Now, I have to ask, what were you thinking, getting a nine-week-old puppy, when you knew that both of you were at work all day and also at school? You mean, what was she thinking? Oh, you, well, you got him. I don't know. I, I don't think I really thought about all that. I just saw him and thought he was just the cutest thing, and I just had to have him. Well, you didn't think. Seriously, if I put you in a room when you were a baby by yourself, what would it have done to you? Drive me nuts. <laughs> drive you a bit crazy, it would make your behavior a little hyperactive, it would give you anxiety. Like, where is everybody? Where are they? I'm alone, okay? I didn't know he was gonna be so much work, you know? I mean, I don't know what the alternative would have been, so the only option we had was to leave him at home. Yeah. Or the other option was to not get a dog in the first place. <sighs> not get such a young dog. You didn't really want a dog yet. Latoya kind of bore you around a little bit. Now, you're the one doing most of the work. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I get angry at her a lot, because I'm like, I told you, I told you, I told you. Why wouldn't you listen to me? Mm-hmm. OK. Victoria wants to give Latoya and Damien some tips on how to prevent more costly damage to their apartment. In order for you to stop the destruction in your house, you are going to have to break up the monotony of his day. You're going to give him his meal, give him his breakfast, mm -hmm. but give him maybe like three quarters of his breakfast. Okay. And the rest of it goes in here. Put that in the freezer and give it to him when you leave. That's going to keep him happy for a while. It's really important that psychologically, Mr. Black have something to do during the day. Because Mr. Black is so young, he needs to be occupied when his owners aren't there. And then what time could you come back for lunch, Damien? I can usually break any time between noon and 1 o'clock. And how long could you spend back here? Um, probably about 45 minutes. OK. 
because in that time, take him out for a walk, you know, have some good endurance exercise. You need to do that. After you come back for lunch, you've taken him for a walk, you leave, and then an hour later, this, which is an automatic toy dispenser, dispenses a toy. So, you can set that up by getting one of your frozen toys, putting it in there, here it's there, and then putting it on a high level so he can't get to it. I thought Victoria's suggestions of giving Mr. Black the durable toys, um, putting food in it, treats in it, and freezing it was a really good idea because Mr. Black loves to eat, so I knew that that would keep him occupied. I thought the little toy dispenser that Victoria showed us was awesome. If we're away from the apartment for a while and then all of a sudden a new toy kind of drops on him, I know he'll be excited and that'll keep him occupied for just a little bit longer. It's the first day without Victoria and Damien is keeping on track with the schedule. Right, Mr. Black, going back to work. Mr. Black is doing great with the new schedule. I'm able to make it home every day, or we've been taking him to daycare a couple times a week. It's great that there's been no destruction and we're completely confident in leaving Mr. Black home alone. Good boy, you didn't destroy the house. With a new routine in place, Mr. Black is less bored, and Latoya and Damien can feel more comfortable about leaving him alone for reasonable periods of time. <laughs> 